I'm Naisha McCauley, and you're watching AccessTV.org. Welcome to the Grassroots Business Journal. I'm your host, Paul Willis, and our guest here today is Mark Pellegrini, Director of Economic and Planning for the Town of Manchester. Glad to have you here today. Glad to be here, Paul. Thanks. Good. I uh, would like to maybe just talk a little bit about um, some of the, the myths and misconceptions that people have in regards to uh, the Office of Economic and Planning De Development. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of what people may think it is, but what exactly is it really all about and how does it work for them in, 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 in their mm -hmm. uh, development? Well, um, well, well, first of all, you know, economic development at, at the municipal level where, where I, you know, spend my 50 hours a week <laughs> is, uh, is one of a number of, you know, functions and responsibilities we have. But I think um, uh, it, if people are looking to the municipal government to help them start a business or finance a business or uh, buy, buy property or those kind of things, you know, we, we, we can help in, on the edges of that sometimes. Uh, we have a, a regulatory role to play. We have a facilitator's role to play. Mm -hmm. uh, and then sometimes we have a, a participant's role to play. So. On the um, on the regulatory role, the, the the kind of the base level of stuff is, if people want to do something in a in a building or in a property, they have to be allowed to do it. So we have zoning regulations that say where you can conduct so what, what areas are for retail, what areas are for industrial, what areas are mixed, um, and and so that kind of dictates where physically businesses are allowed to happen. Okay. Then when you get into a building, there's going to be questions about you know, do you meet building code and fire code and life safety code and health code requirements? So if it's a restaurant or if it's a retail store, if it's an office building, you know, there may be some investments you need to make to get that space to where you can actually occupy it and use it. Okay. So that's the regulatory level and what a lot of municipalities concentrate on is trying to make that as, as smooth and as seamless as possible. So if we can get someone from the counter into their building, from our counter into their building in a short period of time, uh, uh, get them answers quickly, then that's what I think most municipalities want to do. You don't want to be uh, a problem or an obstacle. You want to make it easy for people to get started in that regulatory arena. On, on the facilitating end of things, you know, how can we help people? You know, there's a little bit of matchmaking going on. Um, uh, you know, biz, if people have a business idea, but they need financing. Okay. They can't find, and usually if they're, if they're coming to the municipal government because they can't get money, then that means they're not getting money from traditional lending sources, either because the business plan isn't strong enough, their collateral isn't there, uh, the bank thinks the risk is too great, and so they may need to find some non-traditional lenders that are out there, set up usually by the, by the government, by the state or some other agency. Uh, that are funded to make loans to those kind of businesses where they will accept a higher level of risk in exchange for maybe a little bit more interest and a little bit more flexibility on the terms. So if money's your problem, you're probably not going to get it from a local government, but you might get it from one of these lenders. We try to, we try to hook people up with them. Uh, okay. If you're looking for space, you know, people call, I'm looking for 5,000 square feet for a, you know, a running store. I'm looking for 20,000 square feet for an industrial building. Well, we know what the supply is in our town. We know the, uh, the commercial brokers that are active in those particular segments, so we can put them in touch with the people they need to get in touch with. But again, we don't own real estate for the most part. Okay. So, um, so we, we try to do that. We try to be a matchmaker. We try to, to get people to where there might be some opportunities that are going to work for them. Uh, and then the, uh, as you get more into specific sort of deal making mm -hmm. uh, or partnership arrangements, there are some tools available at the local level that they may or may not work. Okay. Uh, there are tax, agree, tax assessment agreements, for instance, municipalities can, if you spend enough money on a building, we could maybe agree to uh, fix your real estate tax assessment at something below the market uh, for a period of time to help you ease into that deal. Um, but that will depend on the investment in the real estate. Okay. Um, there may be... Um, in Manchester, we, we actually got a hold of a building and created a second floor 
co-working space. So since we don't have to really turn a profit, we can have very competitive rents and uh, a little bit more flexibility in terms of leasing and membership rates and things to give people an opportunity to, to come in and, and get started. And, what, and what's the name of that particular? That place is, is in Manchester, it's AXIS 901, AXIS 901. It's right in our central business district on Main Street. Mm -hmm. um, so we, uh, we do some of that. We do tax incentives in, in certain really sort of more problematic areas. Uh, for instance, the, and again in Manchester, we had a commercial district with uh, up over 400,000 square feet of vacant commercial space. You know, the retail had shifted to super regional shopping mall locations on the interstate. Mm -hmm. So this place was now effectively obsolete. The market wouldn't invest in it. Tenants wouldn't go in it. The buildings were not suited for retail anymore. The market, mm -hmm. you know, the consumer market had shifted. So, um, you know, tenants didn't want to be there. So we ended up d adopting a redevelopment plan. The voters provided $8 million. R we acquired that property and we tore the building down and we're trying to reposition it uh, to, to some other type of development, a more of a neighborhood mixed use kind of development than exclusively commercial. But that's a... You know, redevelopment is a pretty drastic measure. It's when you get to the point where you're looking at a place that's slum, blight. Basically, the markets are, are not going to intervene. Okay. So the municipality has to decide if it wants to intervene. Now you've got $8 million, so you buy property, you tear buildings down, you can maybe uh, underwrite new development, maybe you can underwrite investments or tenants. Um, and, you know, we're looking at that as a possibility maybe in our central business district where you've got multiple property owners, small spaces, Historic buildings, you know, challenges in terms of retrofitting them, extraordinary expenses. So, you know, we're always looking at ways to uh, to provide some assistance. We had a grant program to fix the facades, for instance. We paid 75% as a grant. What would you <coughs> say to small businesses out there to encourage them to mm -hmm. uh, either come into Manchester or uh, to go into any other... Uh, city or region and in, in, in well, the you know, I think the first the first thing is you've got to small business people have to have to know what it is that they really want to do, and they have to have a a pretty solid business plan. Okay. Uh, they have to plan at least you know two or three years out to give themselves a chance to succeed. Okay. Um, the other thing, you know, someone told me once, you know, people come up to them as a real estate broker, say people come to me and say, you know, I really love to cook, I want to open a restaurant, and he said, well, no, if you really love to cook you want to be a chef. <laughs> Running a restaurant is not cooking. Uh, cooking is, is cooking. Right. So you got to make sure you got your head on straight when you're a small business person. There are a lot of great ideas. A lot of people have ideas, but uh, you have to be honest with yourself. Can you really execute? Are you really on the right track? Uh, then I think you need to go to places like the small business uh, development centers that are around the state. Mm -hmm. Go to SBA, go to community colleges, you know, take a course on how to write a business plan. Uh, there are entrepreneurship classes at MCC, for instance, Manchester Community College or University of Hartford. So you really have to do your homework first um, before you start looking at making an investment, making a commitment. Um, and, and then and once you do that, then you have to go look for, you know, where? Where do you want to do this? What kind of location do you think would work? Where's your market? Where are your customers? You know, that's all part of the business planning aspect of it. Okay. We would love to have you come to Manchester, but the more important thing, I mean, the more people there are like that are successful in the Hartford region, the better it is for everybody, really. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. But we certainly would, we think you ought to come here first. But. Uh, now, you're talking about Access uh, 901. Mm -hmm. uh, just explain a little bit about that, what, what it's about, and some of the tenants that are there. And well, Access 901 is a co-working space, so we, we have, uh, at least at, at this particular co-working space, there are three private offices that are rented, and then there's what we call the common area, where you can come in with your laptop and smartphone and, uh, uh, or whatever you got, and you can sit down at an open desk, plug in, and go to work. Uh, we provide free Wi-Fi. We provide a printer, scanner, fax machine. We have a coffee maker, a little kitchen room or break room. Uh, we have some meeting and conference rooms for entertaining clients or meeting with clients or prospects. Um, we do not provide any kind of administrative services or anything like that. Okay. Um, but it's for a certain kind of business that really these are independent people or one or two person operations that are, uh, and that right now they tend to be in the, you know, technology, information systems, planning, uh, service field. Okay. Um, 
I've seen, I've been there, yeah. and I thought that it's a, it's a very interesting place, interesting site. If you really want to uh, check it out, yeah. uh, really, I, I really highly advise people to really go to Manchester, inquire about Access 901, yeah. and, and really check out the facility. I, I think it's just amazing yeah. what, what they really Thank did you. to the Thank space. You. It's a nice space, it's comfortable. The, the people that are there are starting to network and collaborate more, and the rates, it's, uh, uh, I think seventy-five dollars for a hundred hours a month, and one hundred twenty-five dollars get your pass key, and you get twenty-four-seven access to the building. So uh, it's it's very reasonable, and we're 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 growing. You know, we're we're adding. We're at about twenty-three members now, and mm -hmm. we just started in uh, really the end of April, early May. Okay, and we're trying to plug into that to the larger entrepreneurial sort of network that's that's growing in the Hartford region, and. Uh, trying to bring services. Our members come up with their own programs and okay. meetups and things. So it's, it's becoming a, a resource place uh, for a lot of folks. It's a, it's a pretty cool place. Very, very nice. Well, how can people get in touch with you? Well, with me directly, I, I'm at the uh, uh, town of Manchester, Manchester Planning Department. Um, the phone number is 860-647-3044. If you go to the Town of Manchester website, to the department list, you'll find us at Planning and Economic Development. And, uh, I'm glad to talk to anyone about uh, anything we've talked about today, about zoning, about planning, about uh, small business development, uh, any of that stuff. If we can't help you, we'll, we probably know somebody who can. Excellent. Mark, it's been a pleasure. And Thanks thank very much, Paul. You, thank you for being here, to, here today. Grassroots Business Journal with Mark Pellegrini. Director of uh, Planning and Economic Development for the Town of Manchester. Connecticut. Manchester, Connecticut. <laughs> Very good. And until next time, we'll see you then.